Hello, my name is Paul St. John. I'm the founder of the St. John Method of Neurosomatic Therapy. And today I want to discuss a very important condition for infants. It's called pyloric stenosis. So the pyloric valve, as you can see on this chart, is on the distal end of the stomach where the stomach contents dump into the first part of the small intestine called the duodenum or duodenum, sort of like tomato, tomato. So whichever uh, pronunciation you prefer. Anyway, where, how you find this valve is it's in that you take the midline of the body and uh, when you go below the sternum and look for it about two to three inches from the midline and it'll feel like a hard bump when you palpate it. Because it's a sphincter valve, so it opens and closes um, by contracting and relaxing. Um, and that's the key to relaxing it. It's actually pretty easy to do once you know that a counterclockwise movement relaxes the muscle. Clockwise will tone it or constrict it. And um, what we found is that in some children, because they've been in this fetal position for so many months, uh, that it will cause the valve to contract. And it's very, actually, uh, it's quite palpable and easy to relax it with manual therapy in a counterclockwise movement. Uh, and it will feel like a little marble in there. It's not very big on an infant. Uh, and it will be firm. And when you touch it, the baby will yell. Uh, but uh, oftentimes during the therapy, when it only takes a few minutes, uh, the baby will relax because he'll feel that pressure go away. Um, so this, if this valve stays constricted, then when the baby's um, drinking milk, uh, it will reflex back up and it causes a reflex um, back up into the esophagus itself. So once it's combined with stomach acids, uh, then it can burn the esophagus. So uh, we wanna lay the baby down in a um, supine position. Again, finding it is key. The midline of the child, go just below the uh, rib cage, where the sternum, the bottom of the sternum, about one inch down and two inches over and then start a circular motion counterclockwise to the child. Then some children, it releases in one treatment. Uh, the average is about two to three times, but it is a non-surgical intervention. Uh, and it's uh, quite remarkable once you know how to do it and the, the results are uh, pretty instantaneous. So I hope that helps you to understand this condition of pyloric stenosis and how through manual manipulation, it causes a lot less trauma, obviously, to the child because it's a non-surgical intervention.